This video is made possible by Dashlane. Dashlane is a one-stop shop digital identity protection tool who go beyond being just an amazing password manager and provide identity protection, monitoring, restoration, and more. Visit dashlane.com forward slash top tens with a Z or a Z as you say in America and apply the promo code top tens for a 10% discount. So the world is full of impenetrable fortresses and marvels of security that are just waiting for you to try and fail to visit them. We've told you before about some of the most heavily guarded places on Earth, and now it's time for a bit of a brand new batch. Number 10. The 1960s Bar Bars, pubs, and other watering holes aren't generally considered among the safest places in the world, if only for the potential damage they pose to the visitor's liver. The 1960s Bar, also known as the Rose and Crown, is an exception. Dubbed the world's most secure pub by the science magazine Focus, this establishment is a replica of the Red Lion, a well-known pub in London's Whitehall region that is popular among government workers. The bar's safety comes largely from its location. It lies inside the vast nuclear-proof bunker complex 100 feet under the town of Caution. While the underground base was decommissioned in the 1980s, a skeleton crew still maintains the complex in case of a nuclear attack, which might turn the base into the new headquarters of the British government. Last call, anyone? Number 9. Antwerp World Diamond Center As you can probably guess by the name, Antwerp World Diamond Center is in Belgium, and it deals with precious stones. So you're going to know that security is a bit heavier than your average commercial complex. This public-private corporation is located in the beating heart of the diamond industry and acts as its official representative, but despite its association with an industry that is often criticized for its shady tactics, it appears to maintain a refreshingly open policy about its occasional security situations and how it has dealt with them. From their security news, one can gather plenty of information about their efficiency and close relations with the city and the police force of Antwerp. They have contingency plans in place for virtually anything from the Amok Active Killer Protocol for active terror threats to cybercrime. They even have a program against tiger kidnapping, which appears to be a huge thing within the diamond industry. Oh, and they also have a traditional underground vault, of course. Back in 2003, it was hidden behind heat detectors, magnetic fields, sensors, radars, and a virtually impossible to open combination lock. It's probably safe to say that the security measures are even stricter today. If you're wondering why a corporation dealing in diamonds and investing in such security measures is not higher on this list, well, it's because their safety is not quite impregnable. In 2003, a ring of expert thieves managed to breach the ultra-secure vault that we just described and steal $100 million in diamonds and assorted jewelry. Although some arrests were eventually made, the loot was never found and the police still can't quite figure out how the thieves did it. Number 8. Hard Rock Cafe Secret Vault so, the Hard Rock Cafe, and yes, we're talking about that Hard Rock Cafe, it has a treasure chamber in London. It is a repurposed bank vault that used to belong to Coots Bank. It's not just restoring secret recipes, though, it's also held valuables ranging from the Queen of England's personal items to Princess Diana's wedding dress. As anyone who has ever visited a Hard Rock Cafe can attest, the whole deal is rock and roll memorabilia scattered all around the restaurants. They've gathered an amazing amount of valuable rock star knickknacks over the decades, and most valuable items are stored in their vault. The collection is valued at over $600 million and features gems such as John Lennon's handwritten lyric sheet of Imagine, Jimi Hendrix's guitar from his iconic Isle of Wight festival performance, and a number of personal items from music legends such as Freddie Mercury, Madonna, and Elvis Presley. While the vault is understandably well guarded, it's by no means unattainable. In fact, you can visit it for free, but only under watchful eyes as part of a guided tour. After all, no one wants anyone to be walking away with a brand new queen themed jacket that they accidentally picked up during their visit. Number 7. The Broker Restaurant If there's a restaurant equipped to survive the end of civilization, it will probably look a lot like the Broker Restaurant. A legendary establishment in Denver's fine dining circles, the eatery gains fame for its steaks and seafood, not to mention the fact that warrants its inclusion on this list. The Broker was located in the basement of a former bank, complete with a thick, super-secure vault door. With its name and location, it's probably no surprise that the restaurant became popular with the yuppie business dinner crowd. However, you probably noticed that we're talking about the broker in the past tense. The restaurant unfortunately closed its doors on the last day of 2017 after serving ultra-secure steaks for the area's affluent 
for 45 years. Number 6. La Santé La Santé is basically France's Alcatraz and San Quentin rolled into one legendary and legendarily infamous facility, second only to the Bastille and its reputation. Located in the stylish Montparnasse region of Paris, this looming prison has been in operation since 1867 with the occasional modernization break and has housed high-profile inmates such as Manuel Norega and Carlos the Jackal. Although La Santé has seen the occasional escape, a large part of its reputation as a secure prison stems from the fact that it used to be a very, very very brutal place for its inmates. Memoirs of a former prisoner describe a rat and cockroach infested, overcrowded madhouse where prisoners drank disinfectants to try and end it all, and doctors had to treat wounds and ailments that are usually only seen in serious wartime conditions, such as the festering trenches of World War I. The prison was, in essence, a violent city within a city with its own insane rules and logic. The same violence was applied to the officials' approach to executions. Lasante performed public executions as late as 1939 and didn't retire the guillotine until 1972. Despite, or possibly because of all of this, the now modernized and presumably less ruthless prison remains a highly respected institution for officials and inmates alike, and the people who have either worked or done time there carry the experience like a bit of a strange badge of honor. Now, you personally might not have to physically guard much stuff, but you should absolutely get the best protection you can online, and that's why you probably need Dashlane, today's sponsor, and I want to tell you a bit about them before we get into the top five today. Dashlane will protect you from all sorts of threats to your identity. There are lots of hackers out there on the interwebs, and the best way to keep yourself safe online and away from them is with Dashlane. Dashlane is a one-stop shop digital identity protection tool that includes a VPN as well for all of your devices, so you can use public internet safely and anonymously. They also do something called dark web monitoring, which basically means that they monitor the underbelly of the web for people stealing your data, and they'll alert you if this is happening. Further, if a service you've signed up to, uh, Equifax or Sony, anyone suffers a breach, Dashlane will tell you right away and will alert you to other services which share that same username and password so you can change that info before hackers get access to those other sites as well. Plus, Dashlane does what it's always done. It stores your passwords. It keeps your personal data secure. It fills all of those annoying boxes for payment info or passwords all done for you. Now, a lot of Dashlane is free, but there are some premium features you can buy if you want more from the service. To see if those are right for you, you can take a 30-day free trial, and after that, get a 10% discount by using the code TOP10s with a Z at dashlane.com forward slash TOP10s. There is also a link below. So go protect yourself right now. Why not? And let's get into those top five. Number 5. The Library of Congress Knowledge is power, and few places house more knowledge than the Library of Congress, the research arm of Congress, and home to many, many millions of manuscripts, books, newspapers, recordings, and images. As such, the library is hardly helpless when it comes to security measures. Visiting the Library of Congress is much like entering an airport with similar security checks. However, these are really only the beginning. Open food and drink are not permitted in the public areas, and all electronic devices must be silenced, and belongings such as backpacks will be inspected upon exiting the premises. The guests will be tightly monitored and larger crowds such as student groups can expect to have a chaperone following them around to make sure that they don't get in trouble. And if something goes wrong, the culprit can expect a lot worse than a hush and a stern look from the nearest librarian. Up until 2003, the Library of Congress used to have its own fully authorized police force that operated video security and patrolled the premises. In fact, they're still around in all but name. They have merely been merged with the larger and even more powerful force of the U.S. Capitol Police. Number 4. DMCC Storage Vault DMCC, the Dubai Multi Commodity Center, is the hottest global trade free zone in the world, which, along with the Emirates' penchant for opulent construction, is perfect soil for some pretty inventive security systems. Nowhere is this more evidence than in the DMCC storage vault deep under the Almas Building skyscraper, which the owners boast is itself one of the most secure buildings in the Middle East. The vault lies so deep under this building that it's actually one story below sea level. The only point of entry is an elevator that is constantly constantly monitored and guarded. The vault itself is protected by the usual array of security personnel and a number of heavy, guarded, and locked gates, and there are even secondary vault walls to protect the actual vault walls. Of course, if someone decides to go all Mission Impossible on the site, it's also equipped with assorted sensors that react to temperature, motion, and vibration. And as if all of that isn't enough to definitively crush any and all dreams of any movie-style heists, the facility also features something called an anti-drilling corridor. We're not sure what such a system would do to prospective tunnel drilling thieves, but it's probably best not to speculate. Number 3. Air Force One 
Air Force One, the flying fortress, the most secure plane in the world. While Air Force One is technically just a call sign for whatever plane happens to be carrying the President of the United States, there have been many specialized crafts in the presidential fleet that are so heavily associated with the term it might as well be the plane's name. Since 1990, Air Force One has been a pair of massively customized Boeing VC-25As. Both planes are essentially a combination of a flying luxury hotel and state-of-the-art command center and can go halfway around the world with a full tank of gas. They also hide all sorts of shenanigans that the Air Force is understandably not too keen to reveal. It's also known that the planes have their own luggage loading systems and stairs to minimize security risks, and they're shielded well enough that they can withstand aerial attacks, and an electromagnetic pulse from a nuclear blast is unable to fry their electronics. There are flares to counter heat-seeking missiles and electronic countermeasures to jam radars. There are also many other avionic and defense features, but they're precisely as classified as you would expect. All in all, the planes are impressive enough that while their current occupant has criticized their maintenance costs, he has had to say that his first ride aboard Air Force One was beautiful, a great plane, terrific. Number 2. Indian Point Power Plant Indian Point Energy Center in Buchanan, New York is not only a nuclear power plant, but also located upriver from a certain major city that has gained notoriety for getting targeted by terrorists. This is why the facility's owners, Entergy, went all in after the 9-11 attacks and poured a whopping $150 million into Indian Point security systems. It shows, too. Nuclear plants are already some of the most protected locations in the country for obvious reasons, but Indian Point takes things to the next level with its layered security system. Various physical and security personnel barriers are designed to protect the site from virtually any form of attack from water, air, or land. Indian Point security starts with its own personnel who are thoroughly vetted with background checks. Every time they enter or exit the facility, they have to go through multiple security checkpoints and processes that would make airport security blush. And that's just the people they actually want to let in. Unwanted visitors will have to go through razor wire, a number of state-of-the-art security devices, vehicular barriers, and a trained, armed-to-the-teeth security force that watches the site 24-7. To make sure the guards stay on point, Indian Point security personnel drills pretty much constantly. Apart from normal high-end security training, they simulate all sorts of attacks on the facility and even fight each other trying, and presumably failing, to take over the facility from its guardians in a high-tech game of laser tag. Of course, even if someone gets through these guys and manages to knock on the facility's door with wicked things on their mind, Indian Point is unlikely to fall, as Entergy says that the plant's containment structure is amongst the strongest structures built by man. Number 1. Fort Knox Whenever impregnable fortresses are considered, it's only a matter of time before someone mentions Fort Knox, aka the United States Bullion Depository. The site is home to roughly 50% of the country's gold reserves, and regardless of what old James Bond movies would have you believe, it takes more than gas and a henchman with a razor-brimmed bowler hat to get in. Apart from the physical hurdles of a steel fence and the building's steel-reinforced concrete structure and massively sturdy doors, Fort Knox boasts modern state-of-the-art defense systems. The U.S. Treasury has no inclination to reveal the gadgets protecting their most famous pile of gold, but there is talk that their security systems are something straight out of a video game. Automatic machine gun traps, landmines, electric fences, and constant radar monitoring are all rumored to be a part of the defense system, as are posted guards who are armed and have a very, very good aim. Not that the site needs any of that though the entrance to the vault is through a 20-ton steel and concrete door, and the only way to get in is with a complex series of codes that are all known to different people. Oh, and if someone does somehow manage to get inside the facility, it's also a pretty active military location with no less than 40,000 soldiers and civilian workers who might have something to say to the trespasser. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, please do check out Dashlane. It's a great way to support this show. Link below. And thanks for watching.